How's it going, guys? It's Will or Jim Sauce and the rest coming live to you from my chair, in front of my computer, in front of my microphone. And I don't really know why I'm talking like this. So I'm going to stop. Uh, so as you see on screen right now, I'm collecting some Phoenix feathers uh, due to the fact that I'm going to need some super anti fires for the series. If you guys haven't checked in, I've uploaded two episodes of Road to Toro from scratch. Everything's going well. Uh, you see right now in the clip, I'm actually making a few super anti fires because um, I had like a few regular anti-fires in the bank that I bought for KBD uh, but I, I decided to use those because at the time my cash hack was kinda low uh, but as you guys will see soon in the next clip um, you'll see that I ended up I had a bunch of loot uh, in my bank that I ended up selling um, and bam alright now we're at the clip so I ended up buying my rapier uh, so I put two mil back into my GE so I spent two mil for the rapier um, I spent 100k on the Dragon Defender and 100k on Barrels Gloves. If you guys don't know what that means, uh, oh, and I spent 99k. Well, it was actually I spent just another 100k on my on my skull cape. So, money that I made from scratch, I just took that and I banked it in my GE. I put it in that little offer. Uh, so technically, it made it seem like I was buying it. If, if you guys know what I mean. So I don't have like multiple. And that doesn't mean I have to go get the rapier again. I'll just spend two mil for it, and now I can use it. So that's basically how that worked out. But I just wanted to talk about how easy it is to make money on RuneScape now. You know, I just started that Road to uh, Road to Tour from scratch, and it's an amazing thing to see how much money you can actually make from doing simple methods. You know, starting out from Rune Ore with a Rune Pickaxe, eventually moving on to bigger and better things. You know, cutting mahogany logs from in the planks, killing green dragons. That's really easy. You know, now being able to do frost dragons when I already made a, a really you know, a big amount, a decent amount that I can't, I don't actually want to show you guys right now, that's why I'm just going to keep it at this Frost Dragon trip, but if you guys saw uh, for the next Rosa Torva video, you guys are going to see that I've actually made a decent amount of money so far, and Zach and I are already contemplating about going to Bandos, um, it's, it's something that's definitely near in the future that we could possibly be doing. Now obviously a lot of people will argue and say, well Jim, I mean, being almost max, uh, being max combat stats, it's going to be easy for you to make money rather than somebody who's, you know, half your level, which is, you know, that's true. But starting from scratch and, you know, bare minimum everything as far as resources are concerned, um, it's actually a really simple thing to do. Making money on this game is, you know, it's, it's really easy. Um, as far as you know the, the methods that you can do you know if you're unaware of methods it's gonna be a little harder if you, you know you study up on things you know you look up different things you'll be able to do it and it's it's an it's an easy thing to do I mean you know I'm not gonna sit here and lie I'm not gonna say that everything's gonna be super challenging uh, but starting from scratch and eventually making our way up to bosses you know we'd like to do bando soon I love to do corporal beast soon you know corporal beast is a, just a beautiful thing in itself um, even though I've never gotten lucky there I've gotten trolled a lot which is fine um, and I know a lot of you guys are probably watching this video right now yelling at me like, dude, change your ability bar. I was using the wrong ability bar in this video. I apologize. I should have been using my first one, but I was using the second one on accident, or the third one on accident. Don't yell at me, please. But it's really funny. If you guys want to enjoy yourself, watch Zach stream or go kill Frost Dragons with him. He always hits the blue orb. And he, he died today, well, he ring of life out, and he was, he was so upset. He was so upset killing these frost dragons because they would be double teaming them, you know, giggity. Um, you know, with the blue orbs up, he'd be constantly getting smacked around by these dragons, and he was just raging so hard, and I couldn't help but just sit there and laugh. It was just, it was hilarious. So to wrap up this video, I'd like to say a couple things. I'd like to thank you guys for the awesome support I've been getting on my recent videos. You know, every time I see positive feedback and good support, I'd like to make mention of it to, you know, just let you guys know that I do see everything. I read all the comments, I see all the feedback, and I just think that's amazing. Also, streaming today, um, I'm trying to do streams five days a week. Uh, the weekends, I'll probably be busy most of the time, but if I'm not busy, you guys will get, you know, an extra stream, maybe even two, you know, stream every single day of the week. That's a very possible thing that could happen. Um, and lastly, if you guys would like to, go check out Zach's channel. He's the one doing Road to Torva from scratch with me. That would be an amazing thing for you guys to go check that out. And finally, I want to ask you guys a question. What is your favorite way to make money? You know, I may have asked this before, uh, but it, it may have been in different contexts, but... Currently, what are you doing to make money? You know, if you don't want to tell me, that's fine. I'm not trying to steal methods, but you know, I show you guys what I'm doing. Tell me what you're doing. You know, fill me in what you're doing. I want to know what you guys do when you're when you're playing RuneScape. So, how are you making money? So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like down below. And other than that, guys, take it easy. Peace.